Welcome to Volatility Trend Trader. I'm Cesar Alvarez and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the site. If you have any questions at all, please email me at cesar at tranquillitytrading.com. I usually answer within one business day. So, um, like I said, if you have any questions at all, please email me. First of all, we need to go through, of course, our disclaimer. Uh, this Everything is hypothetical results. Nothing I say should be construed as advice to buy or sell. Uh, please do your own homework and understand the, the dangers of trading XIV and VXX and volatility trading. This is a service for experienced traders only. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the results and you may like them. But like I said, this is for experienced traders only, understanding the high risk involved in trading VXX and XIV. First, we're going to cover choosing a portfolio. You can go to the link shown on the page there to see one viewpoint on choosing a portfolio, but I'm going to walk you through my viewpoint on choosing a portfolio. So let's bring up the website. So here's the main stats page, as I like to call it. And there are three portfolios to choose from. So let's take a look. So all portfolios, first portfolio trades both XIV and VXX. So you will either be in one or the other or in cash, depending on the signals. Now, for my own personal trading, I tend to focus on these metrics. I look at the total annual return, I look at the drawdowns, and then I also like to look at the monthly returns. So quickly, you will see very high drawdowns here, or sorry, very high annual returns at 64%, with a very low drawdowns at 20%, 19%, and 18% for the top three drawdowns. Now understand, this portfolio will only invest 50% of your proceeds at one time into the position. So let's say you have a $10,000 portfolio. If you get a signal to buy VXX, you will only buy $5,000 worth. Or if you get a signal to buy XIV, you will only buy um, $5,000 worth. You would never invest more than half your portfolio at one time. This is done for various reasons. One, to keep the drawdowns low. Two, these are very volatile ETFs. Uh, XIV in particular uh, could theoretically go to zero overnight. Uh, and, and having a complete loss to your portfolio is not what I want in my own trading. So that is why I only trade 50% of my, or 50% of the account is only traded in this. So, like I said, I like to look at monthly returns. And we can see here on this image here, we have the monthly returns here. Uh, last year, 2016, was an amazing year with over 100% return. Uh, I caught a little bit of that. I started trading in... Uh, late October so I got a little bit of that return but not as much as some other months uh, but that trade that I did get into my last XIV trade uh, did exceed over 30% return return but you can see there are some low years at 14% not so bad at 2013 uh, and there are some volatile months September 2011 minus 15% so it's not like this cannot have volatility and you gotta remember this is only trading 50% uh, so you know don't think to please don't think about trading 100% of your account with this. This is not, this is not for the faint of heart. This can easily go to zero. This is a high risk strategy. Now, this is I personally trade this one right here because I want to be both long and short uh, volatility. Volatility, but maybe um, you are looking just to be long volatility. So I have a portfolio that does VXX. This is either 100% long VXX or 100% short, or sorry, 100% in cash. This one I decided to go 100%. Mostly because VXX uh, is not likely to go zero, but it is still a possibility, and keep that in mind. Uh, again, the, these returns are, are as good still, but not as good, of course, as the combined portfolio, with a total return of almost 32%, but a drawdown of over 26%. Again, you can look here at the monthly returns, and you can see, you know, those times, these dashes means you were just sitting in cash during those months. So you can see last year, it had spent a lot of time sitting in cash. And then if you're looking just to be long, vol uh, sorry, short volatility, uh, you know, this, this, is, uh, this portfolio is 75% long XIV or 100% cash. Again, realize XIV can go to zero overnight. So I very much caution anybody doing anything more than this or maybe even doing smaller trading, your making a smaller portfolio. Um, this again has almost 60% returns, but high drawdowns are over 28% than 20%. You can see... Again, the monthly returns here, last year just on fire, um, but you know, 2011, you know, a little bit of a volatile year, you can see a much lower returns down to 11%. Again, these are three different portfolios. You, every individual needs to decide what metrics they want. Uh, some people like to see the correlation 
to the S&P 500 index, you'll see this XIV has got a 0 0.60 correlation, very high as you would expect, while the VXX has a minus 0.51, again, kind of what you would expect. And the combined portfolio, this is what I like, has basically a correlation of zero. So, um, but, you know, depending on what you're in, you're either going to be highly correlated or not correlated with the S&P 500. So, again, uh, other people like to look at sharp ratios. Everybody's got their own metrics. If you don't see your metric that you really like, you can always email me. I can see if I can easily generate it for you. Next, we're going to cover how to read the signal table. The link here, you, you can go into read more about it, but I'm right now going to go over it myself. So bringing up the page, we can see any signal uh, is going to be looking something like this. You need, first of all, you got to look for your portfolio that you're trading. Here we have the November, 5th, November 15th, the date. So that's the day that the order will be entered or exited. So normally this is uh, the signal table is updated the night before. So you can see this particular thing. We have you're entering XIV. You have here the status of the trade where you're entering it. And then this is the position sizing because this is a, the VXX XIV portfolio. You'll see that your allocation is 50%. Uh, here down, here's another entry, uh, you, but this is for the XIV only portfolio. And again, you can see the allocation in this case is 75%. And you have it enter here. Uh, holds, you'll see just a hold here. This gives you the uh, current hold that you, or current, you know, you're currently in a position just telling you to hold it. This is the close. This is the current PL from our entry point open because our entries are assumed to be at the open. And this is the current PL from the last close. Here we have an example of VXX. You can see here is an exit. Uh, and then just basically this means exit the next day at the open. This, those are the way the back tested results are. And again, this is the PL at the close, not necessarily at our exit price. Now we'll discuss placing orders. All the backtested results are uh, assuming entry and exit at the open. Uh, some people don't like to enter at the open. I personally usually um, enter at the open, especially if something high with so much liquidity like XIV and VXX. Uh, the slippage at the open tends to be uh, pretty small, but some people don't like that. Other ways of entering, if you're using interactive brokers or maybe using a TWS or, or uh, time-weighted order, uh, or sorry, not TWS, uh, a TWAP order, that's one uh, method. Another method, there are several other methods you can look at if you don't want to enter at the open. I sometimes play around with these different methods to see if I get much uh, better improvement. There is actually one method that a friend of mine sent me recently that I'll be investigating. And if I find, uh, any, when I get those results, I'll probably post them on the page and see if we get better, um, overall better entry. It's going to be a little bit hard because orders tend to come in frequently with the strategy. So I won't be able to, you know, I might not get another data to really say one way or the other. But again, like I said, the back tested results are assuming entry at the open and, and exit. These are all hypothetical, assuming you can get that. Um, but if you have any questions on how to place orders, uh, please email me. A couple of miscellaneous items. Again, I want to reiterate, this is only for experienced traders and those willing to take high risk. The VXX and XIV are very, very volatile um, ETFs, or actually ETNs, and they can theoretically open at zero overnight. So please take that into consideration if you decide to um, look at this. These are all hypothetical results. I have no idea what's going to happen in the future. You know, we can have 40, 50, 60, 80, 90 percent drawdowns. Again, all hypothetical results. Uh, if, uh, again, this only trades VXX or XIV, those are only two things, and it's always on the long side. And often what happens, especially if we're in XIV, XIV trades can last a very long time uh, in the order of months. Then, so if you come into the, um, you come in mid of a, middle of an XIV trade, often people wonder what to do. You can try and wait to, until you get a fresh signal, uh, but that could be, you know, uh, weeks or months before that happens. Off, when I started trading this, I just jumped right in. Uh, it just said I happened to be in a, it's said to be in a VXX trade, so I just jumped right in in VXX. So because you will get exactly the same results from that point forward of whatever the strategy, you know, whatever I'm trading. So whatever I'm trading that, at that point, you'll get the same results that I will. So that is my recommendation. Um, that really, that's personally what I do for myself. And you know, you got to decide whether you want to wait or you want to just jump right in. Now we're going to cover site navigation. So let's bring up the site and we can take a look at. It. So starting from the home page, if you go under the strategy, you'll see the volatility trend trader menu item. You select on that, and you're taken to the main page. This gives you at the very top important pages, account information, the page for the you know, monthly statistics, um, important blog posts like choosing portfolio, how to place orders, 
single table, have a plan. This is a very, very important post. You should definitely read that one. You should sort of see that in your, get that in the emails. And then there's a list of the current recent posts. And if you want to see all posts, you click here on the all posts. You keep scrolling down. There's a welcome video. And then frequently asked questions that you can see down below. So if you don't see any questions there, again, you can, of course, email me. Then under member info, we've got the member homepage. This kind of has uh, links, this gives you all the blog posts that you're subscribed to. So if you scroll down, you'll see each of the strategies you're subscribed to, Big Cap Alpha, ETF Bear Trader, and you just keep scrolling down and you'll see each of the strategies. And then lastly, or next, we've got my account. And this is important, this has your account information, the email that's being used, your membership. So this is where you go to cancel. If you decide you no longer want a, a subscription, then you go here to cancel your uh, your subscription and of course you can either email me or you go to the contact us page here this will you know this is also uh, another way of contacting us and or you can email me from the beginning of the uh, presence this presentation there was my email so that kind of gives you a quick overview of volatility trend trader again this is for experienced traders only this is highly risky and but if you have any questions please email me at any time i do my best to answer as quickly as possible and definitely within one business day